Hello, this is Ken from the Computer Clan here today with an Adobe After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make music visualizers. Sometimes when you watch videos on YouTube from like a musician or something, you typically get the song in the video, but videos are more than just music. Sometimes you need something to go with it. And sometimes you see those music visualizers that are animated to the sound of the music just to give it more of a better feeling. So you have something to watch while you listen to the music. We have a blank project open here, there is nothing in here, so before we work with music and pictures or whatever, we need to import our assets. So, file, import, file. Command I on OS X, Control I on Windows. Press that, and choose your music that you want to make the animation to. I'm gonna be using a piece from our computer showdown OST. So I selected it, hit open, it's now in the side panel here. Now when you make visualizers, you can make them against what's called an alpha channel. An alpha channel represents transparency, so when you render out the animation, it can be layered on top of other videos and pictures inside of other programs. But for this demonstration, I'm just gonna show it being used with the background. So if I'm going to use a background, I'm gonna to have to import that too. So once again, file, import, file. And I'm gonna choose the album artwork as the background. So I'll select that, press open again, and we're good to go, we have our assets. Now let's go to the composition menu and press composition, command N on OS X, control N on Windows, and set your settings. This demonstration is for a 720p high definition video, so I'm gonna use these settings, 1280 by 720, and I'm gonna name it Visualizer, okay? Whenever your settings are good, just hit okay. And now your timeline shows up. So now select the music file from the side panel here in the browser and drag it down to the timeline. And you can reposition it at the beginning here so it lines up with the playhead at the zero second mark. And as you can see over here we have some dead space. That's just because my project settings were set a little bit longer. Yours may not be that long. So if you need to change your time, maybe make it longer or shorter, you can go to the composition menu and hit composition settings. Here under duration, you can change how long you want your project to be. The song I have over here says it's 3 minutes and 54 seconds. So I can change the duration to 3 minutes and we'll say 55 seconds. Now we have less dead space. And you can also drag this work area end box to adjust the timeline length. Now let's do the visualizer. Go back to the beginning by dragging your playhead to the 0 second mark. Go to Layer, New, Solid. Command Y on OS X, Control Y on Windows. We're making a solid to basically be like a workspace for the effect, so it has somewhere to go. Uh, the color doesn't matter because this is going to be replaced. Uh, I'll just do white or like a gray just so you can see it better. And the resolution should match the workspace. So earlier we set 720p, so 1280 by 720 here works fine. If you're not sure of what resolution you need, let's say this is way out of whack, just say, make comp size. When you do that, it will fix it for you. So I'm gonna call this layer effect. I'm just gonna capitalize it so you don't miss that, right? So effect, boom, right there in the timeline, good to go. Now we need to do something with this solid. Right now, it's pretty boring, right? So make sure the solid layer is selected. That's our effect layer. Go to the effect menu, go to generate, and audio spectrum. Audio waveform is a little different. We want spectrum for the kind of visualizer effect that we're going for. So choose that. And now, as you can see, the solid was already replaced with an alpha channel and the effect. And as of right now, it doesn't really look like much, does it? After Effects needs to know what music the effect is working with. So over here, we used to have this project panel open, right? You remember this? This is where our files were. But now we have this effects tab, which gives us all of the settings for the visualizer. It's pretty cool. So we'll go to the audio layer option, and we're gonna tell it what song to use. Once you do that, After Effects will know what music to animate to. As you scrub the playhead, you may already notice a little bit of animation taking place here. Right now, not much is going on because we didn't change many settings, but this is starting to look a bit familiar, right? So just to give you a quick overview of how this works, the taller the line is, the louder the amplitude is at a certain frequency. Typically in a visualizer kind of effect like this, the low frequencies like the bass are way down here. 
then you have the mid range in the middle and then you have the treble way up here so that's kind of how that goes and that's what this is here so we can change all these effects here colors let's change some colors maybe uh, but first let's maybe make them thicker so dragging up the thickness makes the lines wider it's kind of like making text bold that's the thickness there so now they're a bit easier to see softness is this kind of blur effect you see how that's a little blurry right there if we drag this down it gets the solid look it's very hard on the edge if we go up it's really blurry so maybe we'll find a happy medium like 17 19 whatever it looks pretty good there and another good thing i like to change is the maximum height so that's how tall the lines and the effect can get we can really crank that up we can let them go up to geez however high they want let's go let's just keep going we're at like twelve thousand right now let's keep cranking that that looks good so now we're yeah see now it's a party see stuff's going down now so okay now we're getting somewhere maybe we can uh, make these a little bit thinner and under frequency bands we can actually increase this so you get a lot more people to the party you know so we've got a lot more lines going on that looks pretty cool maybe we'll turn up the softness a bit just play with the settings you know there's a whole bunch of things you can do and color now this is pretty self-explanatory pink pink right now it's pink so let's change it a bit my recommendation is do a very soft gradient that's just what i like to do so if i'm gonna do like a blue on the inside like a light blue so we'll do cyan like this light blue color here then we'll do that for the outside but we'll make it a bit darker or maybe make it more blue in the hue so we can do kind of like that and now it looks pretty nice you got a little gradient between these two colors here also if you want the hue interpolation you can actually mix different colors together by dragging this dial here and then you can kind of get some purple in the middle and some blues and gradients and stuff going on we can just crank that a bit so now we got a lot of colors going on here i'm just showing you some bonus things you can really do whatever you want but another thing to know is the start frequency this from what i've interpreted is in hertz so the lower the number of hertz the deeper the tone so if you have it really low here the really low frequencies like at one hertz those are going to show up in the effect but if you crank it up as you can see it starts to kind of be a little more limited so the default is 20 if you want more of like a smooth effect you can go up to the more of the mid-range and get something kind of like that but if you want more of a broad range of frequencies 20 is a good starting point 20 hertz is much lower okay so now if we rendered this out this would be an alpha channel it wouldn't be black you would have this as a transparent background and you can overlay it on other videos or whatever you want inside of your non-linear editing software like Final Cut Pro, Sony Vegas, Adobe Premiere, whatever. But for this demonstration, I'm going to throw a background in here. So I'm going to take my computer showdown image, and I'm going to put the background in the timeline beneath the effect layer. Since it's the background, it needs to be further behind. So the layer on top is literally the layer on top, like stacking paper. So we want the background down here. And I'll just drag it around a bit. Uh, like right about there okay that looks good so now we got that background going on there just for this demonstration and maybe i'll do a hue change to the background here so i'm just gonna go to my effects panel type in hue and drag that on and change the color a bit let's say maybe we can make it match the visualizer make it get give it like a cool effect cool colors cool tones blue right there you know something kind of like that whatever you want to do that's where the creative part kicks in. Now that you know some of the basics, that's where you let your imagination go and just have fun with all of the things you can do in After Effects because really it's pretty unlimited. So now it looks like we're good to go. If you want and you're done, you can now export this. File, export, add to render queue. So now it's down here in the queue. I typically like to use lossless, which basically just means the highest quality possible typically a larger file size but highest quality so i use that when using effects from after effects and other programs once all the settings look good click render and it's now going to go through and process each frame of animation and make a movie for you in this particular case i have it set to make a quick time movie the audio will be in there as well you can also add in the audio later in post-production if you'd like so i hope you learned something if you have any questions or suggestions whatever you'd like let us know in the comments below i hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.
Don't forget to subscribe to stay in touch with more Real Deal videos and click that like button if you liked the video. Also, check out our largest upcoming project to date. It's coming to Indiegogo, so we cannot wait to see your awesome support. And if you want to see more content from us or apply for a YouTube partnership, visit us on our other great websites.